Hello and welcome to the wrap-up show for the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards. We're keeping the party going right here. I'm your host, Alina Vision, and I'm joined by the very dapper striker. Thank you very <laughs> much. What a night this was. It was such a night. Oh, my goodness. I mean, from the top of the show to the bottom, you never know what to expect with the Grammys. That's right, and Alicia Keys really set the tone, I thought. I don't think anyone out there could have done it better. She was just so perfect with how she approached everything and we all know this but she's the best she is she yeah. definitely is the best you know speaking of alicia keys and how she approached um kobe and his daughter you know passing away mm -hmm. unfortunately she had some really really touching words at the top of the show i think we have a clip of that can we go to the clip kobe and his daughter gianna and all of those that are that have been tragically lost today are in our spirit they're in our hearts they're in our prayers they're in this building. And I would like to ask everybody to take a moment and just hold them inside of you. Hold them inside of you. And share our strength and our support with their families. I mean, like you said, she could do it better than anybody else. And she, what she said really touched everyone in the room. There was not a anything you know that anyone could have said besides her right the world really stopped earlier today with the tragedy and everybody in here had a heavy heart right. and she made us feel as tough a day as it was she made us feel like it's okay to celebrate the music right now while we all have incredible sadness inside of us definitely and you know there was a lot a lot of tributes that went on um some honoring even Kobe, which right. was great. And we're going to get to that. All right. But um, let's talk about the big winner of the night. And I think we can also just talk about the big four <laughs> because it was just one person, Billy. Billy Eilish. Eilish. And we also have to give her brother Phineas, Phineas all the love. He won producer of the year. Yep. And so she took home album of the year, best new artist, record of the year, and song, song of the, the year. year. And just if anyone's confused, well, what's... Uh, album, what's a record? A record of the year is a song, and song of the year goes to the songwriter. So she was unbelievable. She was. And you know, it was so great because we were on the red carpet with her earlier for Grammy Live, and she found out that moment that her brother had won producer of the year. No way. Yes. Wow. <laughs> her, she was so excited for him. Her mom was the one who came up to tell her. <laughs> it was a family affair. It was amazing. I didn't know that. That is so cool. Yeah. And yeah. actually, I think we have a couple of, you know, speeches from her and Phineas in regards to their win? Mainly, I think the fans deserve everything. I feel like they have not been um, talked about enough tonight because they're the only reason any of us are here at all. So thank you to the fans. Um, I know that, God, this is so crazy. Um, to me, it's, we didn't write a speech for this because we didn't make this album to win a Grammy. We didn't think it would win anything ever. Um, we wrote an album about depression and suicidal thoughts and climate change and being the bad guy, whatever that means. And um, we stand up here confused and grateful. I love that. They are just so socially aware and they made an album about it and it won them the Grammys. Right, and you know, Alina, I've been so lucky to come to many Grammys. I've never left not enthused. And tonight, I'm so excited about all the legends that were in the room. But what about these young artists like Billy and Phineas? And it's a line I use once tonight, and I'll say it here in the wrap-up show. Music is really in some in good hands. I was thinking the exact same thing, especially when I was on the carpet talking to a lot of the best new artist nominees. This generation of new music creators that are coming up, yes. I'm really excited to see what they do in the coming years. I am totally with you. And it's not just their songwriting and how mm -hmm. the songs sound. They're great performers. They are. They, I don't know, they, they just all have it down. And it seems like they have no nerves when they're out there. And it's just, uh, it's very exciting. They're them. You know, they're the social media generation. So yes. they have no nerves about anything. <laughs> I'm the Flintstone generation. <laughs> I communicate with people by a cup and a, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, come on now. Come on now, Stryker. <laughs> um, speaking of social media. Yes. Yeah, we have some tweets from fans. People are talking about the Grammys. And for sure, um, one tweet that really, really got to me was the Demi Lovato. I mean, her trip, her performance tonight was absolutely amazing. So this is from 
Sassy Quinn, I believe that is, at Sassy Quinn. Looks like you guys got my tweet. I can't believe I made it up here. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. <laughs> she says, I can't even imagine how powerful and overwhelmingly heartbreaking Demi's performance was in person. To have been in that room as she sang her heart out, I'm a mess over just hearing it through my phone. I mean, Demi's been through a you know hard year, and to see her on that Grammy stage was really emotional, I think, for a lot of people. You know, we want, we root for her. Right. We root for people who come back, and it was amazing. Right, and what she has gone through and will continue to go through, everybody needs to remember it ain't easy out there. It doesn't matter if you make a zillion dollars a year yep. or you make no money a year. The struggle is out there. She is a real person. Everybody should have her back and support her. I have hers, and uh, as you just said it, I'm going to say it again, she was great. Yeah, I think we have another tweet as well. Um, Billy and Lizzo meeting backstage. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, wow. Talk about girl power, right? A hundred percent correct. I mean, love them. Best new artists just right. meeting each other. Yeah. Absolutely. And Lizzo, I mean, again, we give her all the credit. Three albums in. She stuck with it. I don't think she lost hope. It clicked with her producer, Ricky Reed. And... Uh, her opening performance just knocked me down up here. That's how she is. She just knocks the socks off of people all the time. It's so funny because I um, saw her at a Grammy U event, and she said, you know, things come to you at the time that they're supposed to. Mm. And I could that just could not ring truer for her, I think. Yeah. This is definitely her time, and I'm so happy to, that she's getting the recognition she deserves. And I love that clip you showed. I also like during the show when Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, he was doing his thing, and he shouted out Lizzo right to her. <laughs> During the performance. There I like you go. that. There you go. The old legends meeting the new. It's pretty cool. We love that. Yes. Celebrating music. All right. Let's talk about the most talked about or one of the most talked about performances on social media. Give it to me. Ariana Grande. I mean, can you be surprised with that? No, you can. And even though I think she's underrated, <laughs> even though she's got all these Grammy nominations and has won and she's got a zillion fans, I still think she's underappreciated. She is so good at what she does. Amazing at what she does. And just her melody of hits that she performed tonight, amazing. The fans were going crazy for it. Right. Definitely. And um, let's talk about the most, one of the most talked about acceptance speeches was Tyler, the creator, winning for best rap album. Right. Such a heartfelt moment. He brought his mom up on stage. She was in tears. Yeah. Oh, I just loved that moment. Me too. Um, Tyler, the creator, this is a guy, I don't think you can just classify him in one genre. He is, he's alternative. He's got hip hop. He's got rap. He's even, yep. to me, rock. He is, as he said in his speech, he's left of center. He is just not right down the middle. And what I learned from him tonight and over the years, even though I don't know him, but I did get to interview him tonight, it's great not to go right down the middle. Go to the yep. side. Stick to yourself and things will be okay. Exactly. It's okay to think outside the box and be yourself. I, we have a sound clip from oh, him. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's check it out. LA Stand Up, Igor and Tyler, the creator. Yes. <laughs> That's my mom, if y'all wondering. <laughs> One, to my mother. You did a great job raising this guy. <laughs> to my friends and my family for trusting my ideas and putting up with my annoying, hyperactive energy since we were children, but always being there. That's right. I mean, you got to thank the mom. And he actually got to do it on stage with her. Right. Amazing. All right. Now, joining us, we have fashion designer, style expert, Michael Costello, who joined us earlier on the red carpet. Yeah. And he was here to check out the style, and he's going to give us the lowdown on what he saw tonight. So let's start with red carpet. Let's start at the beginning of the night. Who are some that really stood out to you? Gwen Stefani. I absolutely love this dress that she did. Mm -hmm. It was so fun for fresh, youthful, and totally next level. And this was by Dolce Gabbana, styled by Rob Zingardi and Marielle. Mm -hmm. um, I love the way that she weared her hair, the makeup, the shoes, everything was on point. And what better accessory to have on your arm than uh, Blake Shelton? <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Now, what about Ariana Grande? 
Ariana Grande walked in and immediately took over the entire carpet. I mean, her dress is still here at the at the at Staples Center right now. <laughs> that was a beautiful custom-made Jean Baptiste Valley, styled by her beautiful stylist Law Roach. It was tons of tulle everywhere, and let's just say. Ariana is a dream come true. She is the ideal person that every designer wants to dress when it comes to the red carpet. Is that because she's not afraid to wear something that a designer suggests? No, Ariana takes risks. She's a definite risk taker, mm -hmm. but she works really well with her stylist. And designers just want to dress her. They want to make her pieces all the time. Um, I was fortunate enough to make her Coachella performance uh, piece, which was great for us. But um, I think she just has that fun, youthful, playful energy to where she can wear anything. It can be a ball gown. It can be a jumpsuit. It can be, you know, a corset. It can be anything. Absolutely. Okay, we got to talk about the guys because they came and they showed up and showed out. The guys <laughs> showed up and showed out and they gave the girls a run for their money. Let's just talk about Lil Nas X. Yes, let's talk about that. Oh, that was th that definitely had to be my most favorite look on the on the red carpet tonight. Custom made Donatella Versace hot neon pink. We're seeing a trend with these neon colors on the red carpet tonight. A few people walked in with those neon colors and Lil Nas X did it the best. He definitely did. What about the Jonas Brothers? Oh, they're just smoking hot. <laughs> let's just let's just talk about them. Uh, they they look absolutely great with the metallics, and one of them had like gold metallic pants on. You, the, the Jonas Brothers, they can't do wrong. No matter what they put, they can put a paper bag over their head and show up, and the girls are still going to scream. I felt like a 16 year old girl again when they came back. Uh, you know, you know, and seeing them on the carpet. I love seeing the Jonas Brothers. They are. They always bring the style. And the wives. <laughs> this is true. This, this is, is true. true. All right, let's move on to performance style. Who did you see there that really wowed you? Oh, Lizzo. Yeah. Can oh, we just talk about that opening yes. number with the black crystal ball gown? That was a custom Christian Siriano piece. Lizzo absolutely killed the performance off the shoulders, showing a little cleavage here and there, leaving something to the imagination. Mm -hmm. But the performance was amazing, and she rocked it. This dress looked incredible from the audience. I was in the audience and I was getting blinded by the crystals. Oh, nice. Yes. I even tried to take a couple off the dress. <laughs> <laughs> For something a little later. Exactly. Now, um, what about Rosalia? She came my with the flamenco. Favorite. Yes. My favorite. Really? I, did, I didn't see it coming. She was so good. I mean, she's got those vocals and the body and the hair and the face and, and she's Latina. So she's so spicy. But I had no idea she can move the way she did with those chaps and fringe and cutouts. Uh, she had me on the edge of my seat. By far, this was my favorite look of the entire evening wow. was this white fringe custom look. And she served it with the dance moves. Yes. She worked the stage. She worked the audience. You know, it was a very mellow night for everybody. Everybody was, you know, a little sad. Right. But uh, Rosalia really brought the energy and the crowd back up and she made it sexy and spicy. She sure did. I she want more. <laughs> <laughs> I always want more, Rosalia. I love her. Um, now, there was some more notable trends that happened. Let's talk about the Nipsey Hustle tribute. Yes, the Nipsey Hustle, the, the Nipsey Hustle tribute. You know, we we didn't know that that was going to happen. I didn't know that all of them were going to come on stage like that. But if you notice, a lot of people were all wearing white while, while they were performing. We had Demi Lovato in white, John Legend in white, DJ Khaled in white. Uh, we had Billie Eilish in white. I don't know if there was some kind of a secret, you know, meeting going on. Memo. Yeah, that we like, didn't get. I didn't get the memo, no. but I'm, I, all the performers. <laughs> sure did get the memo. We went dark. We yes. went yeah, in dark we went colors, dark. right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's slimming. It is. It is. Oh, my goodness. Well, it was so great to have you on the oh, carpet with so us and here on the wrap-up show. I mean... This is pretty much it. We're wrapping it up right now. I don't want it to end. I know. You've been here oh. for 39 hours. I want to keep going. Where's the performance? We're going to go to the end? after party is what we're going to do. I don't I don't see. I'm not cool enough to get on that list. You're going to the after party? You're going to come with me. I'm going to get you in. Okay. I need all the help <laughs> I can get. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, well, be sure to check out more Grammy coverage on Grammy.com and follow the Recording Academy on all the socials. I want to thank both of my hosts, Stryker and Michael Costello, thank for you. joining thank me. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. We'll see you guys next year.
What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.